Welcome back to East Central. Now, I couldn't just let that Chatawali story, of course, go without us having an actual conversation around it. It seems like another Jolof war. But now joining me is Nigerian broadcaster N6. Of course, welcome to East Central. Hello. Thank you very much. <laughs> All right. So thank you very much. Let's get right it into it. It sounds a bit more serious than Jolof was. It definitely honest. is more. I, I must agree. I must agree. So this isn't the first time Chatawali has had something to say about, especially Nigerian artists in the music industry. Now, what do you think mm. this is, is behind his words? At, at this point, it has to be attention. It has mm. to be attention. Um, I, I could have had stronger words for Shata Wale, but obviously in the, in, in the entertainment industry, you have to, you know, push all this sensationalism, mm -hmm. you know, make yourself larger than life. I mean, mm -hmm. He, ha he didn't put out a song. We're not talking about a Shatawale song, but I mean, he's got the whole of Africa talking already. Right. So let me just mark it down to sensationalism and maybe a slight xenophobia hmm. uh, for now. Hmm. You know? I, like, I like that you said that. So there's long been competition and comparison between African nations, especially yeah. in the entertainment and music scene. Now, why yes. do you think that is? Why does this have to be? I think it's, it's just being human. Hmm. Um, humans, we compete. We're wired to compete already. So um, let me not just say, I mean, even in the Latino, every scene, just, just competition. I think it's just humans, just being humans, being humans. Talking about humans being humans, is there a way for this competition to be healthy without becoming the situation of, you know, name calling or insults, you know, as we're seeing? Yeah, obviously, um, it can be healthy. I don't know if you saw WizKid's statement today. These are powerful statements that go a long way to further buttress the point that we are one Africa. We mm. really should look ourselves as one entity. That's the only way we're going to conquer the world. Mm. So, you know, just constantly, just continuously pushing the narrative that all of this uh, competition should only be channeled in making all of us better, in collaborating and all of that. But, you know, just to, these xenophobic attitudes, if you remember, AKA had this sentiment about two years ago. I remember that. Um, towards the Nigerian industry as well. So. That. We just have to keep telling each other that we love each other. We are all black people. We're all humans. And, uh, you know, more love, less ego. Mm, I like that. More love, less ego. That's, that's WizKid's uh, upcoming album. Isn't that yeah, the title? Yeah, yeah. I just, see what you did there. I see what you did there. So let, let me ask, do you share the same sentiment that these, you know, xenophobic, uh, you know, uh, would be as a result of maybe the artist himself or maybe the fans seem to be inciting these, you know, this battle? <laughs> to be honest, it's just down to good old jealousy. And you can't blame them. A hundred million people put, you know, supporting one artist. Mm -hmm. I mean, if I was Ghanaian, I'd be mad too. <laughs> you hear whiskey shutting down the O2 three days in a row. Mm -hmm. But I feel the best way to then handle this will be to collaborate. Find out what these people are doing that makes them better. If you're from a nation with 20 million people, why don't you do a song with a Nigerian musician and sell yourself to the hundred million Nigerians? I don't mm. think fighting or you know um do you get me i don't think like downgrading or fighting each other is the way to go it, it, it brings no productivity whatsoever right so now let me let me talk about the the of course the importance of putting out great music and of course collaborating now the numbers yeah. support that nigerian music and artists are popular not just in ghana but around the continent now do you think uh -huh. this is something that has to do with of course local content and that conversation because, of course, judging from the nature of your job, you've spent time hosting, you know, a successful radio show. Now, you've seen the evolution yeah. of how mu Nigerian music, you know, dominates the airway. It wasn't necessarily yeah. like that many years ago. So do you think there is something to local content conversation that should be had? You, you have to remember, most of Nigerian music is done in a balance of mm. English pigeon. So we are, we are easier understandable. Mm. Most of these African countries have dominant languages already where English right. is almost like the second lingua franca. Mm. So I love South African music. I love Amapiano. I can listen I to Amapiano for hours on end, but I don't understand what Bopa means or Shai Pempe. I don't know what they mean. Right. But when you, if you listen to an hour of Afrobeats, you're understanding Omale has a message. Wande mm -hmm. Ko has a message. Whiskey right. wants you to to have a good time. David O has a message. Burner Boy wants you to, you know, to be more socially conscious. Mm -hmm. So I understand, I understand, you know, why the beef happened. 
Right. <laughs> right. I, I must say a yeah. huge a huge shout out to Nigerians who still, you know, Africans who still go out to collaborate. You know, we have so many songs oh. of people speaking their indigenous languages. And of course, still yeah. having Nigerians on it, you know, Burner Boy and Black Shirt's yeah. new song. I mean, you yeah, know. Look at yeah. That. <laughs> you know, so of course, thank you so much, N6, for being a part of this conversation. We do appreciate you anytime for being a part of the show. Thank you very much, my brother. Have a great day. Happy New Year in advance. Happy New Year in advance to you too.